Recently, my husband has started acting strangely. He often comes home very late and cries several times, but he always responds that his work had a bit problem. But when I asked his assistant, I was told that his work had been going well, well and he always left on time. So, where did he go? Not only that, but sometimes he said bluntly, I am reminiscing about something, snatching something out of stairs. I approached him while he was staring at the artifact and stepping. Did by his hasty pull back, I was about to see a sister picture frame pendant, and I tried to ask, What is it, honey? Nothing at all, darling. But I see you keeping an eye on something. Is it a frame pendant? Isn't it? Who oh, is this? I told you there's nothing. Why are you so annoying? Doubt and panic drive on me nuts. Is it out there with another woman? Is he planning to bleed me? I took out the frame pendant he had give, given me. Inside was a picture of him and me smiling joyously. I came back to the old day when he was just an employee of my father's company. Despite poverty, his appearance, ability and effort to always reel me in. When we were dating, he was also my mate. He always showed us he was a caring boyfriend. And those things make me immediately agree when he proposed to me. After thinking about his beautiful memories and being unable to bear this torment, I decided to hire people to talk. Have you made any discoveries? Your husband is always coming to a woman's house these days, Angel Chowley. A woman? Yes, a married woman. My husband has a relationship with a married woman? However, we determined that the woman did not have a close or sexual relationship with your husband. She also appeared to avoid him. I adjusted my body. So that means my husband is simply standing in front of her house with no business between them? Pretty sure. Do you want me to investigate this woman a little more? Of course. Investigate as much as you can for me. Not long after that, I found out about my husband's schedule. Every day after work, he stood in front of that woman's house, and as I went deeper into this woman's background, my insecurity gradually expanded. I discovered that she was once a wealthy lady, had lived in the most significant building of the city. She is daughter of a tycoon. However, her family went bankrupt seven years ago. Seven years ago, it was also the time when he started betraying me. Realizing this, my spy real call. I pick up the phone and need to know exactly what had happened. Today, I received a call from an unknown number. The woman on the other side says she was Humphrey's wife. Humphrey, the name I had buried in the dust of the town. The woman spoke up, offering to have a talk with me one day. After some deliberations, I decided to meet that woman. Finally, the day had come. She was already waiting at the cafe, fingering a picture frame pendant. I approached and sat in front of her. Her face was lovely, but tired. Good morning, Miss Stewart. You know me? I used to watch Humphrey's every step after we broke up. Of course I know. I would like to know everything that's going on between you two. You've come to see me. You must have known something, right? That's right. I know your family went bankrupt 17 years ago. And it came to you that time. He and I were lovers for three years. He was just a tiny team member in my father's company at that time. He's a good, forward thinking, and a caring person. And I think you also love him because of this, right? So did I. I love him deeply, despite my family's objections. My family doesn't accept the enormous distance between the two of us. But I think that we were making a love, not my parents. So we are trying together to convince them. Have you come across such a case as well? Yeah, right. I'm afraid I succeed. My family gradually accepted us together. Unfortunately, just as I felt I was on my way to endless happiness, tragedy struck. My family's business failed, and we were forced to declare bankruptcy. You know, that day I was just so stressed. I didn't want my parents to worry a lot, 
so I had to suffer from this difficulty alone. And I always hoped that my husband would sympathize with me. Indeed, he did so, assuring that me that he would always be by my side, no matter what. It was as if I grabbed a log in the middle of a torrent and clung to it with everything I had. I stayed in his, his house, cooking, doing the laundry, and looking for a part-time job while he looking for work at your father's firm. Life was so seen and happy back then. But then, I discovered that the log was actually rooted from inside and was about to fall apart. He frequently worked overtime, evenings and weekends, dressed more and more extravagantly, and even borrowed my money several times. He always assured me that there would be a major deal and from that we would be wealthy. I handled him on my earnings and I thought he was anxious about our futures. But what had happened, you know? He spent them on gift and a day with his new love. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I dragged back to my house and told the bandit he'd given me. I shattered it and read the photograph of the two of us. When I confronted him, he said it was all my fault and that I was abandoned on his life. This word taunted me for a long time. But thankfully, it also made me realize that my only fault was that I didn't love myself. However, in the end, the past should be left in the past. Despite my sadness, I don't mind thinking about one thing for an extended period of time. Now that I stabilized my life, found a new happy destination, and giving birth to my beautiful angel. And I believe that now I'm the happiest I ever been. Just remembering about my man and my child, all my worry and concerns fade away. After listening to my confiding, the woman also hurriedly said goodbye to me and left. When I get home and your words still lingering in my ear, I found my happiness. Now it's time for you, Sheila, to find yours. My husband walked over when he noticed me returning. Where did you go? I went to see Anya. Sheila, don't overdo it. I don't, Hermie. I just want to inform you that we're getting divorced and you are no longer a steward. It's me and Anya are over, Sheila. I'm never going to see her again. I don't say anything. My hand pulled out a photograph in the picture frame pendant he had given me and I tear it up, calmly looking at the guy I used to love with my own heart.